All right, so the same way that we counted the number of uh, atoms we have, we can do the same thing with molecules. So for example, what if we had 14.0 grams of CH4, which is known as methane, um, how many grams or how many moles? All right, if you have that many grams, how many moles do you have? So again, we know that we have 14.0 grams of our CH4. And so we're going to want grams over here. And then we want our final answer being moles. So we know we have to go moles here. So again, we have to find our grams per mole. But this, in this case, what we want to do it for is CH4 and not just one element. And so we've already done this when we calculated the mass of the uh, compounds. And it's the same thing again. So for example, CH4 is made up out of one carbon and four hydrogens. So it's going to have the molar mass of one carbon and four hydrogens. Right, so carbon itself weighs uh, 12.011 grams per mole. And then hydrogen weighs 1.008 grams per mole. And then, of course, CH4 would then be the mass of one carbon and four hydrogens, right? So you just do one times 12.011 and then add that up to four times 1.00. Eight, and then you get a total mass of 16.043 grams per mole. And so then we're just going to take this number and plug it up into there, 16.043. 16.043 grams per one mole. Go ahead and do the math, and you'll end up with 0 0.873 moles, in this case of CH4, right? So uh, atoms and molecules, pretty much the same thing. And of course, if we wanted to, we could go to, uh, to the number of molecules of CH4, but generally we just stop at moles because it's a nice number and going to molecules doesn't really provide you any uh, more data. And of course, you could also do it the other way around. What if you want 2.20 moles of CH4? Right. How would you count out 2.20 moles of CH4? Well, we do counting by weighing. So we'd figure out what mass we need, and then we just weigh out that mass. So what we want to do is figure out how many grams that is. So again, we have 2.20 moles of CH4, and we know that CH4 has a molar mass of 16, of the 16.043 grams per mole. Remember that the number goes with the numerator, so the 16 goes with the grams. And so this case, mole would have to go down in the bottom, and it would just be one mole. And then your 16.043 grams would go up top. And then you just do the multiplication here, and you'd have to weigh out 35.3 grams of CH4, right? So if you wanted 2.20 moles, you'd weigh out 35.3 grams. And that's a lot easier than trying to count these, which would be impossible.